fond verb to have a foolish affection for to be fond of adjective chiefly with of having a liking or affection for friends noun a person other than a family member spouse or lover whose company one enjoys and towards whom one feels affection verb to act as a friend to to befriend to be friendly to to help hurry noun rushed action verb to do things quickly main verb short for mainline adjective of chief or leading importance prime principle adverb exceedingly extremely greatly mightily very very much scare noun a minor fright dry noun the process by which something is dried verb to lose moisture adjective free from or lacking moisture coughed verb to push air from the lungs in a quick noisy explosion heat noun thermal energy city noun a large settlement bigger than a town sometimes with a specific legal definition depending on the place reading verb to look at and interpret letters or other information that is written noun the process of interpreting written language marine noun a soldier normally a member of a marine corps trained to serve on board or from a ship adjective belonging to or characteristic of the sea existing or found in the sea formed or produced by the sea electrician noun a tradesman who installs repairs and maintains electrical wiring and equipment mobility noun the ability to move capacity for movement fighting verb to contend in physical conflict either singly or in war battle etc adjective engaged in war or other conflict fiction noun literary type using invented or imaginative writing instead of real facts usually written as prose adopted verb to take by choice into relationship a child heir friend citizen etc pet noun an animal kept as a companion verb to stroke or fondle an animal adjective favorite cherished the focus of ones usually positive attention criteria noun a single criterion noun a standard or test by which individual things or people may be compared and judged drawbacks noun a disadvantage something that detracts or takes away center noun the point in the interior of a circle that is equidistant from all points on the circumference verb to cause an object to occupy the center of an area rules noun a regulation law guideline verb to regulate be in charge of make decisions for reign over verb to revel cash noun a store of things that may be required in the future which can be retrieved rapidly protected or hidden in some way verb to place in a cache attach verb to fasten to join to literally and figuratively bulbs noun any solid object rounded at one end and tapering on the other possibly attached to a larger object at the tapered end verb to take the shape of a bulb to swell lifetime noun the duration of the life of someone or something dresser noun an item of kitchen furniture like a cabinet with shelves for storing crockery or utensils cell noun a single room dwelling for a hermit verb to place or enclose in a cell facts noun something actual as opposed to invented she noun a female pronoun personal the female person or animal previously mentioned or implied none noun a person without religious affiliation adverb to no extent in no way pronoun not any of a given number or group look over verb to give a brief visual inspection origin 
Noun, the beginning of something. Anesthesia. Noun, an artificial method of preventing sensation. Used to eliminate pain without causing loss of vital functions. By the administration of one or more agents which block pain impulses before transmitted to the brain. Practices. Noun. Repetition of an activity to improve a skill. Verb. To repeat. An activity. As a way of improving one's skill in that activity. Granddaughter. Noun. The daughter of someone's child. Hour. Noun. A time period of 60 minutes, 1 24th of a day. Mobile. Noun. A kinetic sculpture or decorative arrangement made of items hanging so that they can move independently from each other. Adjective. Capable of being moved, especially on wheels. Noun. A portable telephone that connects with the telephone network over radio wave transmission. Essay. Noun. Authorship. A written composition of moderate length. Exploring a particular issue or subject. Probability. Noun. The state of being probable. Likelihood. Matchless. Adjective. Having no match. Without equal. Bounce. Noun. A change of direction of motion after hitting the ground or an obstacle. Verb. To change the direction of motion after hitting an obstacle. Fourth. Noun. Not used in the plural. The person or thing in the fourth position. Adjective. The ordinal form of the number four. Region. Noun. Any considerable and connected part of a space or surface. Specifically. A tract of land or sea of considerable but indefinite extent. A country. A district. In a broad sense. A place without special reference to location or extent but viewed as an entity for geographical. Social or cultural reasons. By. Noun. Something which is bought. A purchase. Verb. To obtain. Something. In exchange for money or goods. Do. Noun. Deserved acknowledgement. Adjective. Owed or owing. Adverb. Used with compass directions. Directly. Exactly. Shoot. Noun. The emerging stem and embryonic leaves of a new plant. Verb. To launch a projectile. Punctuation. Noun. A set of symbols and marks which are used to clarify meaning in text by separating strings of words. Into clauses. Phrases and sentences. Spelling. Verb. To put under the influence of a spell. To affect by a spell. To bewitch. To fascinate. To charm. Verb. To read. Something. As though letter by letter. To peruse slowly or with effort. Verb. To work in place of. Someone. Noun. The act. Practice. Ability. Or subject of forming words with letters. Or of reading the letters of words. Orthography. Harvester. Noun. A person who gathers the harvest. Phrasal. Adjective. Referring to, or used in the manner of, a phrase. Locked. Verb. To become fastened in place. Adjective. Having undergone locking. Secured by a lock. Evolution. Noun. A change of position. Reallocated. Verb. To allocate. A resource. To another person or purpose. Acid. Noun. A sour substance. Adjective. Sour. Sharp. Or biting to the taste. Tart. Having the taste of vinegar. Nowhere. Noun. No particular place. No place. Adjective. Unimportant. Unworthy of notice. Adverb. In no place. Chest. Noun. A box. Now usually a large strong box with a secure convex lid. Verb. To hit with one's chest. Front of one's body. Jeans. Noun. Denim. Noun. A pair of trousers made from denim cotton. Belief. Noun. Mental acceptance of a claim as true. Most. Noun. The greatest amount. Adverb. Forms the superlative of many adjectives. Pronoun. The greater part of a group. Especially a group of people. Positive. Noun. A thing capable of being affirmed. Something real or actual. Adjective. Not negative or neutral. 
dedicated verb to set apart for a deity or for religious purposes consecrate adjective devoted loyal conscientious insignificant adjective not significant not important inconsequential or having no noticeable effect processed verb to perform a particular process on a thing verb to walk in a procession adjective that has completed a required process packaged verb to pack or bundle something adjective having been placed in a package amusement noun entertainment redundant adjective superfluous exceeding what is necessary democracy noun rule by the people especially as a form of government either directly or through elected representatives representative democracy applicator noun a tool or device used to apply a fluid or semi-fluid substance to a surface scanning verb to examine sequentially carefully or critically to scrutinize to behold closely noun the act of something being scanned author noun the originator or creator of a work especially of a literary composition verb sometimes proscribed to create a work as its author awards noun a judgment sentence or final decision specifically the decision of arbitrators in a case submitted verb to give by sentence or judicial determination to assign or apportion after careful regard to the nature of the case to a judge clown noun a slapstick performance artist often associated with a circus and usually characterized by bright oversized clothing a red nose face paint and a brightly colored wig verb to act in a silly or playful fashion increases noun an amount by which a quantity is increased verb of a quantity etc to become larger or greater racket noun a racket an implement with a handle connected to a round frame strung with wire sinew or plastic cords and used to hit a ball such as in tennis or a birdie in badminton verb to strike with or as if with a racket publisher noun one who publishes especially books podcast noun an audio program produced on a regular basis delivered over the internet in a compressed digital format and designed for playback on computers or portable digital audio players such as the ipod verb to deliver an audio program over the internet on a regular basis heels noun the rear part of the foot where it joins the leg noun the act of inclining or canting from a vertical position a cant noun high-heeled shoes grasped verb to grip to take hold particularly with the hand members noun one who officially belongs to a group care noun grief sorrow productive adjective capable of producing something especially in abundance fertile necklace noun an article of jewelry that is worn around the neck most often made of a string of precious metal pearls gems beads or shells and sometimes having a pendant attached verb to informally execute by necklacing by setting on fire a petrol filled rubber tire which has been put around the bound victim's neck priced verb to determine the monetary value of an item to put a price on adjective in combination having a price of the kind specified disability noun state of being disabled deprivation or one of ability absence of competent physical intellectual or moral power means fitness and the like smaller adjective not large or big insignificant few in number adverb in a small fashion flexibility noun the quality of being flexible suppleness pliability roller noun heading anything that rolls 
Verb. To roller skate. Disappointing. Verb. To sadden or displease. Someone. By underperforming. Or by not delivering something promised or hoped for. Adjective. Causing disappointment. Humidifier. Noun. A device that is used to increase the humidity of the air. Browsing. Verb. To scan. To casually look through in order to find items of interest. Especially without knowledge of what to look for beforehand. Noun. A place abounding with shrubs where animals may browse. Stay. Noun. Continuance or a period of time spent in a place. Abode for an indefinite time. Sojourn. Verb. To prop. Support. Sustain. Hold up. Steady. Evolve. Verb. To move in regular procession through a system. Father. Noun. A. Generally human. Male who begets a child. Verb. To be a father to. To sire. Adventure. Noun. The encountering of risks. A bold undertaking. In which dangers are likely to be encountered. And the issue is staked upon unforeseen events. A daring feat. Ah. Noun. A feeling of fear and reverence. Verb. To inspire fear and reverence in. Spray. Noun. A fine. Gentle. Dispersed mist of liquid. Verb. To project a liquid in a dispersive manner toward something. Hide. Verb. To put. Something. In a place where it will be harder to discover or out of sight. Massacre. Noun. The killing of a considerable number. Usually limited to people. Where little or no resistance can be made. With indiscriminate violence. Without necessity. And contrary to civilized norms. Verb. To kill in considerable numbers where little or no resistance can be made. With indiscriminate violence. Without necessity. And contrary to civilized norms. Often limited to the killing of human beings. Receipt. Noun. The act of receiving. Or the fact of having been received. Verb. To give or write a receipt. For something. Organize. Verb. To arrange in working order. Radius. Noun. The long bone in the forearm, on the side of the thumb. Laughed. Verb. To show mirth. Satisfaction. Or derision. By peculiar movement of the muscles of the face. Particularly of the mouth. Causing a lighting up of the face and eyes. And usually accompanied by the emission of explosive or chuckling sounds from the chest and throat. To indulge in laughter. Gestures. Noun. A motion of the limbs or body. Especially one made to emphasize speech. Verb. To make a gesture or gestures. Boom. Noun. A low-pitched. Resonant sound. Such as of an explosion. Verb. To make a loud. Hollow. Resonant sound. Interjection. Used to suggest the sound of an explosion. Exhibition. Noun. An instance of exhibiting, or something exhibited. Architect. Noun. A professional who designs buildings or other structures. Or who prepares plans and superintends construction. Verb. To design. Plan. Or orchestrate. Abroad. Noun. Countries or lands abroad. Adverb. Beyond the bounds of a country. In foreign countries. Preposition. Throughout. Over. Inspire. Verb. To infuse into the mind. To communicate to the spirit. To convey. As by a divine or supernatural influence. To disclose preternaturally. To produce in. As by inspiration. Reflect. Verb. To bend back. Light. Etc. From a surface. County. Noun. The land ruled by a count or a countess. Adjective. Characteristic of a county family. Representative of the gentry or aristocracy of a county. Bumpers. Noun. Someone or something that bumps. Congenital. Adjective. Of a trait or a disease. Present since birth. Debt. Noun. An action. State of mind. Or object one has an obligation to perform for another. Adopt toward another. Or give to another. Exams. Noun. The act of examining. Paper. Noun. 
a sheet material used for writing on or printing on, or as a non-waterproof container, usually made by draining cellulose fibers from a suspension in water. Verb. To apply paper to. Adjective. Made of paper. Insulation. Noun. The act of insulating. Detachment from other objects. Isolation. Murder. Noun. The crime of deliberately killing another person without justification. Verb. To deliberately kill. A person or persons. Without justification. Especially with malice aforethought. Belt. Noun. A band worn around the waist to hold clothing to one's body. Usually pants. Hold weapons. Such as a gun or sword. Or serve as a decorative piece of clothing. Verb. To encircle. Flavored. Verb. To add flavoring to something. Adjective. Having a specific taste. Often due to the addition of flavoring. Problem. Noun. A difficulty that has to be resolved or dealt with. Adjective. Of a person or an animal. Difficult to train or guide. Unruly. Pencils. Noun. A paintbrush. Verb. To write. Something. Using a pencil. Donkeys. Noun. A domestic animal. Equus asinus asinus. Similar to a horse. Blue. Noun. The color of the clear sky or the deep sea. Between green and violet in the visible spectrum. And one of the primary additive colors for transmitted light. The color obtained by subtracting red and green from white light using magenta and cyan filters. Or any color resembling this. Verb. To make or become blue. Adjective. Of the color blue. Reading. Verb. To look at and interpret letters or other information that is written. Noun. The process of interpreting written language. Charter. Noun. A document issued by some authority. Creating a public or private institution. And defining its purposes and privileges. Verb. To grant or establish a charter. Adjective. Leased or hired. Kept. Verb. To continue in. A course or mode of action. Not to intermit or fall from. To uphold or maintain. Approaching. Verb. To come or go near. In place or time. To draw nigh. To advance nearer. Noun. The act of coming closer. An approach. Adjective. That approaches or approach. Adverb. Nearly. Rewrite. Noun. The act of writing again or anew. Verb. To write again. Differently. To modify. A piece of writing or music. Etc. Element. Noun. One of the simplest or essential parts or principles of which anything consists. Or upon which the constitution or fundamental powers of anything are based. Verb. To compound of elements. Processes. Noun. A series of events which produce a result. The product. Verb. To perform a particular process on a thing. Verb. To walk in a procession. Demands. Noun. The desire to purchase goods and services. Verb. To request forcefully. Backache. Noun. Any pain or ache in the back. Doctor. Noun. A person or firm that owes money. One in debt. One who owes a debt. Conviction. Noun. A firmly held belief. Characterized. Verb. To depict someone or something a particular way, often negative. Crossed. Verb. To make or form a cross. Adjective. Marked by a line drawn crosswise. Often denoting cancellation. Present. Noun. The current moment or period of time. Adjective. Relating to now. For the time being. Current. Mascara. Noun. A cosmetic used to darken and thicken the eyelashes. Verb. To apply mascara to the eyelashes. Authority. Noun. The power to enforce rules or give orders. Sad. Verb. To make melancholy. To sadden or grieve. Someone. Adjective. Heading. Emotionally negative. Pack. Noun. A bundle made up and prepared to be carried. Especially. A bundle to be carried on the back. But also a load for an animal. A bale. Arrived. Verb. To reach. 
to get to a certain place. Go. Noun. The act of going. Verb. To move. Adjective. Working correctly and ready to commence operation. Approved and able to be put into action. Granularity. Noun. The condition of being granular. Roller. Noun. Heading. Anything that rolls. Verb. To roller skate. Cane. Noun. A plant with simple stems. Like bamboo or sugar cane. Or the stem thereof. Verb. To strike or beat with a cane or similar implement. Helping. Verb. To provide assistance to. Someone or something. Noun. A portion or serving. Especially of food that one takes for oneself. Or to which one helps oneself. Clip. Noun. Something which clips or grasps. A device for attaching one object to another. Verb. To grip tightly. Retro. Noun. Past fashions or trends. Adjective. Of. Or relating to. The past. Past times. Or the way things were. Noun. A small rocket engine on a larger rocket or spacecraft. Designed to slow or reverse its motion. Noun. An exhibition of works from an extended period of an artist's activity. Headmaster. Noun. A male school principal. Profits. Noun. Total income or cash flow minus expenditures. The money or other benefit a non-governmental organization or individual receives in exchange for. Products and services sold at an advertised price. Verb. To benefit. Somebody. Be of use to. Somebody. Running. Verb. To move swiftly. Noun. The action of the verb to run. Adjective. Moving or advancing at a run. Adverb. Consecutively. In a row. Preposition. Approaching. About. Roughly. Flavors. Verb. To add flavoring to something. Educator. Noun. A person distinguished for his, her educational work, a teacher. Install. Noun. Installer. A software utility that installs an application. Verb. To connect. Set up or prepare something for use. Blooming. Verb. To cause to blossom. To make flourish. Noun. The act by which something blooms. Adjective. Opening in blossoms. Flowering. Adverb. Often followed by well. Bloody. Bleeding. Extremely. Appendices. Noun. Something attached to something else. An attachment or accompaniment. Motorway. Noun. Parts of Australia. A broad highway designed for high-speed traffic. Having restrictions on the vehicle types permitted and merging lanes instead of cross-traffic. In parts of the United States and other places called freeway. Practices. Noun. Repetition of an activity to improve a skill. Verb. To repeat. An activity. As a way of improving one's skill in that activity. Ampersands. Noun. The symbol. And. Cheap. Noun. Trade. Traffic. Chaffer. Chaffering. Verb. To trade. Traffic. Bargain. Chaffer. Ask the price of goods. Cheapen goods. Adjective. Low and or reduced in price. Adverb. Cheaply. Boolean. Noun. A variable that can hold a single true, false. 1 over 0. Value. Adjective. Of or pertaining to the work of George Boole. Shout. Noun. A loud burst of voice or voices. A violent and sudden outcry. Especially that of a multitude expressing joy. Triumph. Exultation. Anger. Or animated courage. Verb. To utter a sudden and loud cry. As in joy. Triumph. Exultation or anger. Or to attract attention. To animate others. Etc. Escalator. Noun. Anything that escalates. Necessary. Noun. Usually with the definite article. A place to do the necessary business of urination and defecation. An outhouse or lavatory. Adjective. Required. Essential. Whether logically inescapable or needed in order to achieve a desired result or avoid some penalty. Selfie. Noun. A photographic self-portrait. 
especially one taken manually, not using a timer, tripod etc. with a small camera or mobile phone. Verb. To take a selfie. Hospital. Noun. A large medical facility, usually in a building with multiple floors, where seriously ill or injured patients are given extensive medical and or surgical treatment. Adjective. Hospitable. Judging. Verb. To sit in judgment on. To pass sentence on. Noun. The act of making a judgment. Secondary. Noun. Any flight feather attached to the ulna. Forearm. Of a bird. Adjective. Next in order to the first or primary. Of second place in origin. Rank. Etc. NV. Noun. Resentful desire of something possessed by another or others. But not limited to material possessions. Verb. To feel displeasure or hatred towards. Someone. For their good fortune or possessions. Anthropologist. Noun. One who is versed in anthropology. Lifetime. Noun. The duration of the life of someone or something. Countryside. Noun. A rural area, or the rural part of a larger area. Oranges. Noun. An evergreen tree of the genus Citrus such as Citrus sinensis. Verb. To color orange. Founded. Verb. To start. An institution or organization. Verb. To melt. Especially of metal in an industrial setting. Adjective. Having a basis. Spoilt. Verb. To strip. Someone who has been killed or defeated. Of their arms or armor. Adjective. Having lost its original value. 9. Noun. The digit or figure 9. Numeral. A numerical value equal to 9. The number following 8 and preceding 10. Nowhere. Noun. No particular place. No place. Adjective. Unimportant. Unworthy of notice. Adverb. In no place. Annoyed. Verb. To disturb or irritate. Especially by continued or repeated acts. To bother with unpleasant deeds. Adjective. Troubled. Irritated by something unwanted or unliked. An annoyance. Vexed. Relaxation. Noun. The act of relaxing or the state of being relaxed. The opposite of stress or tension. The aim of recreation and leisure activities. Detective. Noun. Law enforcement. A police officer who looks for evidence as part of solving a crime. An investigator. Adjective. Employed in detecting. Cane. Noun. A plant with simple stems. Like bamboo or sugar cane. Or the stem thereof. Verb. To strike or beat with a cane or similar implement. Columns. Noun. A solid upright structure designed usually to support a larger structure above it. Such as a roof or horizontal beam. But sometimes for decoration. Any. Adverb. To even the slightest extent, at all. Pronoun. Any things or persons. Nail. Noun. The thin, horny plate at the ends of fingers and toes on humans and some other animals. Showed. Verb. To display, to have somebody see. Something. Shampoo. Noun. A traditional Indian and Persian body massage given after pouring warm water over the body and rubbing it with extracts from herbs. Verb. To wash one's own hair with shampoo. Popular. Noun. A person who is popular. Especially at a school. Adjective. Common among the general public. Generally accepted. Cards. Noun. A playing card. Verb. To check IDs. Especially against a minimum age requirement. Noun. Material with embedded short wire bristles. Verb. Performing. Verb. To do something. To execute. Noun. A performance. Four. Noun. The digit or figure four. An occurrence thereof. Numeral. A numerical value equal to four. The number after three and before five. Two plus two. This many dots. Emphasize. Verb. To stress, give emphasis or extra weight to, something. Alcoholic. Noun. A person addicted to alcohol.
Adjective, of or pertaining to alcohol. Absolutely. Adverb. In an absolute or unconditional manner. Utterly. Positively. Wholly. Interjection. Yes. Certainly. Expression indicating strong agreement. Delivery. Noun. The act of conveying something. Moving. Verb. To change place or posture. To go. In any manner. From one place or position to another. Noun. The relocation of goods. Adjective. That moves or move. Accused. Verb. To find fault with. Blame. Censure. Noun. The person charged with an offense. The defendant in a criminal case. Adjective. Having been accused. Being the target of accusations. Misunderstandings. Noun. A mistake as to the meaning of something or a specific point of view. Erroneous interpretation or comprehension. Misconception. Responses. Noun. An answer or reply, or something in the nature of an answer or reply. Composer. Noun. One who composes. An author. Barrel. Noun. A round vessel or cask. Of greater length than breadth. And bulging in the middle. Made of staves bound with hoops. And having flat ends or heads. Sometimes applied to a similar cylindrical container made of metal. Usually called a drum. Verb. To put or to pack in a barrel or barrels. Revive. Verb. To return to life. To become reanimated or reinvigorated. Obey. Verb. To do as ordered by. A person. Institution etc. To act according to the bidding of. Signs. Noun. Sometimes also used uncountably, a visible indication. Verb. To make a mark. Engaged. Verb. Heading. To interact socially. Adjective. Agreed to be married. Grin. Noun. A smile in which the lips are parted to reveal the teeth. Verb. To smile. Parting the lips so as to show the teeth. Playing. Verb. To act in a manner such that one has fun. To engage in activities expressly for the purpose of recreation or entertainment. Noun. Gerund of play. An occasion on which something. Such as a song or show. Is played. Raspberry. Noun. The plant Rubus edius. Verb. To gather or forage for raspberries. Adjective. Containing or having the flavor. Flavor of raspberries. Despite. Noun. Disdain. Contemptuous feelings. Hatred. Verb. To vex. To annoy. To offend contemptuously. Preposition. In spite of. Notwithstanding. Regardless of. Sky. Noun. The atmosphere above a given point. Especially as visible from the ground during the day. Verb. To hit. Kick or throw. A ball. Extremely high. Noun. A vibrant light blue color. Like that of the sky on a fine day. Get on. Verb. To board or mount. Something. Especially a vehicle. Interjection. Expresses surprise or disbelief. Python. Noun. A type of large constricting snake. Mom. Noun. Familiar. Mother. Verb. To care in a motherly way. Rehearsal. Noun. The practicing of something which is to be performed before an audience. Usually to test or improve the interaction between several participating people. Or to allow technical adjustments with respect to staging to be done. Donkeys. Noun. A domestic animal. Equus asinus asinus. Similar to a horse. Announced. Verb. To give public notice. Especially for the first time. To make known. Lazy. Noun. A lazy person. Verb. To laze. Act in a lazy manner. Adjective. Unwilling to do work or make an effort. Disinclined to exertion. Industrious. Adjective. Hardworking and persistent. Scrape. Noun. A broad. Shallow injury left by scraping. Rather than a cut or a scratch. Verb. To draw. An object. Especially a sharp or angular one. Along. Something. While exerting pressure. Steps. Noun. An advance or movement made from one foot to the other. 
a pace verb to move the foot in walking to advance or recede by raising and moving one of the feet to another resting place or by moving both feet in succession barber noun a person whose profession is cutting usually male custom as hair and beards verb to cut the hair or beard of a person illusionist noun one who works with illusion or sleight of hand const noun a variable whose value cannot be changed directly adjective of a variable whose value cannot be changed directly attachments noun the act or process of physically or figuratively attaching board noun a relatively long wide and thin piece of any material usually wood or similar often for use in construction or furniture making verb to step or climb onto or otherwise enter a ship aircraft train or other conveyance eyelash noun one of the hairs which grow along the edge of eyelids reorganize verb to organize something again or in a different manner nose noun knowledge the state of knowing verb to perceive the truth or factuality of to be certain of or that pickpocket noun one who steals from the pocket of a passerby usually by sleight of hand verb to pick pockets to steal lead noun a heavy pliable inelastic metal element having a bright bluish color but easily tarnished both malleable and ductile though with little tenacity it is easily fusible forms alloys with other metals and is an ingredient of solder and type metal atomic number 82 symbol pb from latin plumbum verb to cover fill or effect with lead repeat noun an iteration a repetition verb to do or say again and again depressed verb to press down adjective unhappy despondent blink noun the act of very quickly closing both eyes and opening them again verb to close and reopen both eyes quickly major noun a military rank between captain and lieutenant colonel aware adjective vigilant or on one's guard against danger or difficulty parse noun an act of parsing verb to resolve a sentence etc into its elements pointing out the several parts of speech and their relation to each other by agreement or government to analyze and describe grammatically shortlisted verb to place something on a short list adjective placed on a short list critic noun a person who appraises the works of others verb to criticize noun the art of criticism arm noun the portion of the upper human appendage from the shoulder to the wrist and sometimes including the hand verb to take by the arm to take up in one's arms start noun the beginning of an activity carry noun a manner of transporting or lifting something the grip or position in which something is carried verb to lift something and take it to another place to transport something by lifting politicians noun one engaged in politics especially an elected or appointed government official crashed verb to collide with something destructively fall or come down violently cleaner noun a person whose occupation is to clean floors windows and other things lexicographer noun one who writes or compiles a dictionary notebook noun a book in which notes or memoranda are written round adverb so as to form a circle or trace a circular path or approximation thereof preposition defining a circle or closed curve containing a thing noun a circular or spherical object or part of an object verb to shape something into a curve adjective physical shape intelligent adjective of high or especially quick cognitive capacity bright feature noun 
one's structure or makeup, form, shape, bodily proportions, verb, to ascribe the greatest importance to something within a certain context. Dine, noun, dinner time, verb, to eat, to eat dinner or supper. C, noun, a large body of salt water. Interrupt, noun, an event that causes a computer or other device to temporarily cease what it was doing and attend to a condition, verb, to disturb or halt, an ongoing process or action, or the person performing it, by interfering suddenly, march, noun, a formal, rhythmic way of walking, used especially by soldiers, bands and in ceremonies, verb, to walk with long, regular strides, as a soldier does, borrows, noun, deviation of the path of a rolling ball from a straight line, slope, slant, verb, to receive, something, from somebody temporarily, expecting to return it, noun, a ransom, a pledge or guarantee, given, verb, detransitive, to move, shift, provide something abstract or concrete to someone or something or somewhere, noun, a condition that is assumed to be true without further evaluation, adjective, already arranged, preposition, considering, taking into account, coloring, verb, to give something color, noun, an act or process which applies color, engineering, verb, to design, construct or manage something as an engineer, noun, the application of mathematics and the physical sciences to the needs of humanity and the development of technology, future, noun, the time ahead, those moments yet to be experienced, adjective, having to do with or occurring in the future, noun, short for futures contract, junk, noun, discarded or waste material, rubbish, trash, verb, to throw away, finish, noun, an end, the end of anything, verb, to complete, something, facilities, noun, facilities for urination and defecation, a toilet, a lavatory, noun, the fact of being easy, or easily done, absence of difficulty, simplicity, boys, noun, a young male, noun, the testicles, renew, verb, to make, something, new again, to restore to freshness or original condition, noun, the act of renewing, coroner, noun, a public official who presides over an inquest into unnatural deaths, cases of treasure trove, and debris from shipwrecks, seventeenth, noun, one of seventeen equal parts of a whole, adjective, the ordinal form of the number seventeen, revolutionized, verb, to radically or significantly change, as in a revolution. Cheers. Noun. A cheerful attitude. Happiness. A good, happy, or positive mood. Verb. To gladden. To make cheerful. Often with up. Interjection. A common toast used when drinking in company. Died. Verb. To stop living. To become dead. To undergo death. Verb. To color with dye or as if with die. Bounds. Noun. Often used in plural. A boundary. The border which one must cross in order to enter or leave a territory. Verb. To surround a territory or other geographical entity. Noun. A sizable jump. Great leap. Verb. To leap. Move by jumping. Myth. Noun. A traditional story which embodies a belief regarding some fact or phenomenon of experience, and in which often the forces of nature and of the soul are personified. A sacred narrative regarding a god, a hero, the origin of the world or of a people, etc., creates, verb, to bring into existence, sometimes in particular smiley face. Ethic. Noun a set of principles of right and wrong behavior guiding, or representative of, a specific culture, society, group, or individual, adjective, moral, relating to morals, dive, noun, a jump or plunge into water, verb, to swim underwater.
retirement, noun, an act of retiring, withdrawal, optimize, verb, originally intransitive, to act optimistically or as an optimist, editing, verb, to change a text, or a document, noun, an act or instance of something being edited, completes, noun, a completed survey, verb, to finish, to make done, to reach the end, king, noun, a male monarch, a man who heads a monarchy, if it's an absolute monarchy, then he is the supreme ruler of his nation, verb, to crown king, to make, a person, king, purpose, noun, an objective to be reached, a target, an aim, a goal, consume, verb, to use up, comb, noun, a toothed implement for grooming the hair, formerly, for keeping it in place, verb, especially of hair or fur, to groom with a toothed implement, chiefly with a comb, politics, verb, to engage in political activity, politic, noun, a methodology and activities associated with running a government, an organization, or a movement, spent, verb, to pay out, money, adjective, consumed, used up, exhausted, depleted, stain, noun, a discolored spot or area, verb, to discolor, definition, noun, a statement of the meaning of a word or word group or a sign or symbol, dictionary definitions, couples, noun, two partners in a romantic or sexual relationship, verb, to join, two things, together, or, one thing, two, another, notary, noun, a lawyer of non-contentious private civil law who drafts, takes, and records legal instruments for private parties, and provides legal advice, but does not appear in court on client's behalf. Brevity, noun, the quality of being brief in duration. Push, noun, a short, directed application of force, an act of pushing, verb, to apply a force to, an object such that it moves away from the person or thing applying the force. Excuse. Noun. Explanation designed to avoid or alleviate guilt or negative judgment. A plea offered in extenuation of a fault. Verb. To forgive. To pardon. Jogging. Noun. The action of the verb to jog. Debt. Noun. An action. State of mind. Or object one has an obligation to perform for another adopt toward another, or give to another, in, noun, a position of power or influence, or a way to get it, verb, to enclose, adjective, located indoors, especially at home or at one's office or place of work, adverb, at or towards the interior of a defined space, such as a building or room, preposition, used to indicate location, inclusion, or position within spatial, temporal or other limits. Department. Noun. A part, portion, or subdivision. Recovered. Verb. To get back. To regain. A physical thing. In astronomy and navigation. Sight of a thing or a signal. Verb. To cover again. Breath. Noun. The act or process of breathing. Shine. Noun. Brightness from a source of light. Verb to emit light. Ace. Noun. A single point or spot on a playing card or die. Verb. U.S. To pass. A test. Interviews etc. Perfectly. Adjective. Excellent. Operational. Adjective. Of or relating to operations, especially military operations. Southeast. Noun. The direction of the cardinal compass point halfway between south and east specifically 135 degrees, abbreviated as SE, adjective, southeastern, southeasternmost, occupying a position that is relatively southeast of another.